Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, <laughs> it's still raining. Looks like it's gonna do it all week. But so, Lars was telling me I need to shoot a video on retipping a blade. So I got one here. It needs to be completely rebuilt. All new tips. Run through all the automatics. We're gonna do just a little bit of here, a little bit there, because it's, it's an hour and a half job getting that done, maybe two hours. So, you can thank Lars for this video. Yeah, thank me or hate me. Hate him, okay? Because I didn't want to do it. <laughs> so hang on, we're going to put some tips in the saw. We're going to Put it through the face machine, the side grinding machine, and the top grinding machine, and hey, when we get done, voila, brand new saw blade. Let's go for the ride. Hey right, guys, uh, we've already done this before. If you want to get real close up to it, there's videos out there on the channel. Uh, like I said, all this is filler for what we're trying to do with the truck. But people seem to be interested in this stuff, so let's go for it. Uh, there's 80 teeth. We've already knocked them all out. We done that yesterday. Uh, so now we're going to commence to putting some in. We don't want to do like four or five of them. Uh, if not, it just gets redundant. So hang it. Watch it, it'll keep getting shorter. I hate this torch. Thank you. There we go. All right, guys, we have replaced 80 teeth. All right? Get you a close up. She's all in there good. Now, let's start grinding. All right, guys, uh, better tips to you. Now, let's do a little face grinder. Do a little automatic stuff. All right. I think we got her. I got to go turn the face converter on. But, let's see what it looks like. All right. Let's go over here. As y'all know, that machine's a three-phase. This is a three-phase converter. Now, let's turn dust collector. Let's open the dust collector. Uh, I'm going to cut it. There we go. Let's hit the green button and let's go. Wait a minute. Might want to sock it once. Uh uh. Got a breaker blow in the background. So again, let's let her sock it once. This is another free pause system. 
Let's make sure our wheel is perfect. The gear is perfect. My bad, I gotta get in this one. There you go. Man. Back on Alright guys, so we're done with the face brown. Uh, I don't know if that camera's going to pick it up. Good. We've got her yeah. face brown done. So, let's turn this off. And we'll come over here to the side brown. shooting for 15 thousandths per side. All right. Let's see where we're at. All right. 17. 17. Heck, I'm fine with that. Now it's time to completely sacrifice this thing. All right. Get them teeth in there where they're supposed to be. So we've got 80 of these to do, and this thing is slow. Sideburning done, already on tangible clearances, all put into this saw blade. Give me a second, we will discuss that, and then we're on to top grounding, and we're going to have a completely rebuilt blade. Alright guys, so we're out of the side grinder. What we've done on that side grinder is put radio on tangible clearances in. Let's get you down here. Radio is the clearance between the front and the back, which is one and a half degrees. Tangential clearance is from top to bottom, which is two degrees. So we built all that in on that one salt grinder over there. So at this point, what we have done is face ground, side ground, put tangential radial clearances in. Now we're gonna hit the top and put the top cutting clearances in and we're done all right so now it's time to put on put it on the top grinder and we're going to put all the top angles in this is the alternate top bone blade we're going to have a 15 degree clearance back we're going to have 15 degree every other tooth and we finally got this thing done it's been a minute. All right, guys, we got it on the top grinder. First thing we're gonna do is make sure everything's around because when you replace it, they're high and low. So we got on 80. We're gonna go around and we're gonna 
sparkle through this thing and make it round and then we're gonna add our angle. So put her on. And you see how someone's hitting and someone's missing? Well, that's what we're trying to take care of. And then we can make it sharp. And then once this hot grind is done, we end up with a brand new blade. Just like it came brand spanking new. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that. That's what it takes to rebuild a saw blade. You know, remove all the tips that's bad. I mean, just rebuild it. I don't do that to every blade. Those are just special custom blades for a factory, and they're kind of expensive, so... Instead of replacing them for twice the money, just, you know, re-tip them. Keeps them happy and the blades last longer. Anyway, again, hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you got something out of it. Um, we'll catch you on the next one.